Exotic fruit lovers can look forward to a bountiful supply of persimmons this season. Farmers say they've experienced the best growing conditions in years, but are struggling to sell the fruit locally. Two weeks into the season, Stephen Jeffers is relieved his trees are still laden with ripe fruit. The weather's presenting its uh, own unique set of challenges, but uh, we're sort of, hopefully with a bit of bit more blue sky will come through it all right. Researchers say most local growers are doing well despite the rain, but it's early days for the industry. They haven't been grown in Australia as long as some of the more traditional crops and uh, you know they they're not finding their ways into kids lunch boxes like you know the traditional apples and oranges. They're developing ways to increase orchard profitability and yield so farmers can reach a larger share of the market. We're looking at different treatments so we're getting a longer life out of our persimmons. Nearly 3,000 tonnes of persimmons are produced around the country each year, most of that in Queensland. Farmers say they're doing well in export markets but are struggling to sell their fruit locally. This is why. Persimmons. What are they? <laughs> I think I've got a fairly conventional taste in fruits and it's just a bit different, like custard apples and things. Look, I haven't had one for 60 years. <laughs> Mr Jeffers says many consumers are familiar with the original persimmon, known for being quite astringent unaware 90% of farmers are now growing a new, more versatile variety. They're a really sweet one, eat them crunchy like an apple and they're just delightful. He's hoping more locals will give it a go. Sarah Sinclair, Wind News.